safe. I'm going to bring in Chandler Jones right now from the Arizona Cardinals, led the league in sacks this year, first team all pro. Hey, Chandler, you've done your part as well from your area up in Endicott, New York, up in upstate New York and out there in Phoenix in the uh, Arizona area where you're calling home now in uh, supporting with getting some meals purchased for folks as well in these challenging times. Tell us what you've been involved with. Yeah, you know, um, I was brainstorming with my team for a while. And uh, what we did was we donated 150,000 meals across Arizona and Indicott, New York, in my hometown. Um, we also uh, provided transportation for people. A lot of people didn't have rides. But the main thing is I, I wanted to do something, something where I could stay safe but also help. Um, so that's that was my contribution to it. Well, congratulations and thank you for uh, thank you for doing that. Uh, so, in all of this, the NFL offseason has continued to go on, and some awards have continued to go on. One of them was the All Decade Team, which is pretty pretty big stuff. And the Arizona Cardinals, Patrick Peterson, Larry Fitzgerald, and you make the All Decade Team along with Khalil Mack and Von Miller at outside linebacker. What did you think when you found out that you were one of the best of the decade? Uh, I mean, that was great news. Uh, but my name being up there with all those other names, I think that's what stood out to me the most. Um, you know, Von Miller, Khalil Mack, Tom Brady. I mean, even some of those names are, you know, the the icon of the sport, the face of the NFL. So for my name to be up there along with some of those guys, uh, it felt really good to me, for sure. Of course. Of course, some of that happening during your time uh, with the New England Patriots. You've been to three Pro Bowls. Uh, we talked about the success of last year. Take me back to those Patriot days. What was it about your time in New England that helped you become the player that you are now? Yeah, when I was in New England, I truly believe I learned to become a professional, uh, not just on the field, but off the field. Um, but going back to football, uh, they teach you. One thing about I admire about them, they teach you so much. They teach you about the little things. Um, doing your job, uh, being a defensive player. I didn't even learn defense until uh, maybe my second week of rookie minicamp. They taught me offensive turn on, terminology, uh, how the offense works. And I think uh, just the way they think is just different over there. So a uh, start of my career there was definitely advantageous for me, for sure. And when you leave there, you're in a different environment and you've had, a, you've had coaching changes around you as well. How much of those seeds, the do your job, the know your details, go ask the offense some stuff about what a team you're playing might be doing, how much of all that still is part of how you prepare for football games right now? Uh, it helps, for sure. Um, honestly, that's all I know, how to prepare for a game. I still prepare the same exact way. And I realize that a lot of coaches and a lot of coordinators, they do come to me and ask, you know, you know, what did you guys do over there? Or how did how were things ran over there? Because, you know, it's a lot of success. And, uh, and what Bill did over there, he's, he's created a dynasty and they've won consecutive years. And he has a formula that works. So my biggest thing is, you know, trying to help my team that I'm on currently uh, to that formula, which is the Super Bowl. Let me hit you with a couple of quick things. Tom Brady leaving New England. You still shocked by it? I am still shocked. Uh, there's a TMZ article where I was interviewed and I said, you know, don't buy into it. Don't believe into it. He's not going anywhere. So. <laughs> the, the truth has now been written. Uh, the trade with DeAndre Hopkins becoming a teammate there. What was your reaction when that happened? Our offense should be and will be explosive. Um, I've watched his highlights since the day we traded for him. Um, I'm excited to have him on our team. And uh, like I said, I am going to have the front row to the Kyler Murray and D-Hop show every Sunday. Give me some insight on Kyler Murray. W what does he have that seems to be a special quality that uh, some really good players have? It looks like as you watch him, he may have a little bit of something, that extra special thing. Of course. What I admire about Kyler the most um, is to see him prog progress. You know, if you won't watch him, the very the first few weeks of his career as a rookie, you know, um, I feel like he was trying to figure things out a little bit. If you watch him toward the end of the year, I mean, he was taking over. He was grabbing guys in the huddle. Um, so for me being in my eighth year and watching a rookie evolve before my eyes, um, it's very admirable. So like I've said, there's, there's, there's a huge ceiling for him. And, and like I said, the sky's the limit for that kid. Well, we look forward. It could be an exciting offense with uh, get a lead and set the pass rusher going. Chandler Jones did it as well as anyone in the league. Uh, our group is everyone's working so hard to put these shows on, right? In all these circumstances, 
So our group has a little Syracuse flashback, which will make me look really old. It'll make you look good, but we'll put it up on the screen. There you go. You look a lot better than me. Stop laughing at me, 99. Hey, I, I love the shade. I hear you there. Those See? Nice. Those glasses. Those, those Thank specs you. are nice. I'm Thank you. Them. And for first class, you're leaving the hair alone. That's a, that's a nice deal by you. Chandler, thanks for what you're uh, doing as well with helping out the communities up in Endicott where you grew up and out there in the Valley of the Sun. And we look forward to seeing you during this football season. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thanks for having me. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.